anything that we do in the project is sustained, right? And so I'm here to say that after you guys have been trained, there are other, there are two other courses that are also going to become available that you can partake in. So I want to speak a little bit about who is training you because you're going to say, but if this is new, how come we already have a, 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 train, a training going on, a true? So what we did as a part of the project was that we certified 15 instructors in 22 from Hart NST were the first 15 in the entire Caribbean to be internationally certified as EV instructors. So Mr. Black, who you will meet later on, is certified in four different areas, and so I say to you, he is well prepared to deliver your course. We're making sure that you are ready for it. What is my ask of you today? My ask of you today is that you will turn up, whether it's online or it's in person, that you will give up your best in the course and that you will become ambassadors for EVs. That's a good ask, right? Not so hard. Easy for them because guess what? We are all men and every man I know like vehicles. We are very proud to be playing a leading role in enabling mobility in Jamaica. You will already see that we have charging stations about 10 EV chargers island wild and we're getting ready to now roll out another 12 in the upcoming months, right? And this infrastructure will allow for the reception <laughs> of the growth in EV vehicles that we can expect. Um, as a customer, when we were driving down, I, I did ask the customer questions, right? The fear of um, running out of energy. I, I challenged the team, why would I now trade out my hybrid for EV? Especially if something goes wrong, I can't just drive down the road to a mechanic, right? The reality is that we're not there yet. Um, the good thing, however, is that the important and critical part, which is to train the resources up to enable the EV ecosystem to be successful and we don't get left behind, has already started. And so we must embrace innovation we must embrace the new technology and that's why we're starting by building these skills here today with our first responders we are even more grateful that our membership in furtherance of position the jcf as the organization of choice the law enforcement organization that that is known, that reels off the lips of our people as a force for good. Having our members present, well equipped, and available to assist our citizens where they may encounter challenges as we move into the future. At Port Mar BTC, we are small, but we are Talawa. We're passionate about what we do. We have a, a small group of staff members who are also very passionate about getting our trainees ready for the world of work. Um, they'll tell you that the, the gray hairs that are developing on their heads is not because of anything else, but it is because every day we sit down and we meet and we discuss how can we make what we're offering here better. And uh, we are trying as much as possible to be on the cutting edge of what the industry is requiring. And so it would be remiss of us not to jump on this train because the train is going where we want to go. We want to make sure that we have persons in the workforce that are able to respond to all electric vehicles. And so um, we are grateful that we are one of three um, of the centers within the Heart and Estate Trust that has one of the electric vehicles. And so what I want us to prepare our minds is that not only are we responding as members of the JC, but we are responding as members of the workforce that are the only set of persons who are trained and certified. Follow us on eDrive. eDrive, J-A in, on Instagram. Did I get that right? So I'll be looking at the ending of today. I'm supposed to have a minimum of 25 new followers. We're also on Facebook. I invite you also to look to look at our YouTube ch channel and you can see exactly all the things that the exciting and the fun-loving things that we have done on eDrive. You are cohort two of the JCF. We started at Jagos, 31st of August. SSB, that's how we started, right? 31st of August. 
So those guys are three months into their training. And Corporal Hunter tells me that the group out in St. Elizabeth is on its way. So you are three, you are cohort three. Thank you guys for being here today, gentlemen. I look forward to hearing good things. And the people at Fort Maria will tell you that I'm a part of Heart and SDA. So look out, I can show up anytime. <laughs> All right, thanks for having me.